G'day cocktail lovers. This is a little riff I made I'm calling a pink Negroni sour. Well, I was gonna call it pink. It didn't go that pink. Maybe it's got a little bit of a blush, a Negroni blush, maybe I'll call it. But I based it off a recipe I found called a white Negroni sour. Now, regular viewers might be going, wait a sec, Negroni, he hates Campari. Is he using Campari? No, I am not using Campari, because I hate Campari. But the recipe I'm basing this off also did not use Campari. So I guess it isn't just me. As I commonly do, I took a recipe I found that sounded interesting and I riffed based on what I had, essentially. So the recipe for the white Negroni sour on the Diffords website called for uh, a quina or quinine heavy aromatized wine. And I decided instead of being white, I'm going with uh, a red uh, aromatized wine. This is Unico Rosa. This is a Rosé Vermouth from South Australia. It's kind of a mid-range in terms of sweetness, like your average Blanc uh, vermouth, but it's made with red grapes, so it's kind of this rose color, which is quite nice. That's where the faint pinkness, the faint glow of this is coming from. So I'm using that instead of the Kina aromatized wine. And it also called for Suze or similar liqueur. I'm going with uh, yellow chartreuse which is not an exact match, but it's quite close, and I thought that's what I'd use. There's quite a heavy pour of navy strength gin in this. I'm spoiled for choice on this front. I'm going with one of my favorite locals, Brogan's Way. They call this the Royal Blood Gin. So 57% alcohol by volume, which is standard navy strength. is like 57% and up, and it's quite nice. And it's a sour, so there's lemon juice in here as well. And I went with a foaming agent. Where's my trusty wonder foam? You can use egg white or aquafaba. And there's a lot of these foaming agents you can get commercially as well. I find this easier and less mess. After all that build up, I want to taste this little number. Okay, there's just the very light bitterness. Nothing remotely as if you'd used an aperitif like even Aperol, let alone Campari. I think hardcore Negroni purists would be going, that's no start on Negroni. But yeah, dude, maybe I didn't name the original one and it's marketing as much as anything. And as I said before, I don't like Campari. So I don't like Negronis. So I don't really care if Negroni lovers hate this. I actually get where you're coming from, but why it's marketing. It's like in the 80s, 90s, everything put in a V-shaped cup was called a teeny, as in a martini and it isn't. The Negroni's gotten so popular, people are calling drinks Negronis that at best bear a passing resemblance to a Negroni. And that's what this is, I guess. But I like how this has turned out. Here's how I made it. In a shaker, put one and a quarter ounces or around 37 and a half mils of Navy Strength Gin, then three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils of Rosé Vermouth. Then I added 22 and a half mils, three quarters of an ounce of Yellow Chartreuse, and the same amount again, 22 and a half mils, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And then I added about a third of an ounce or 10 mils of sugar syrup. I was already to add ice and shake and I remembered the foaming agent. I, so I added a few drops of the Wonder Foam. Then I put the shaker together, shaking it good and hard, shaking for at least 20 seconds because I want a nice foam head to come out on this. And I strained it into a rocks glass over a big chunk of ice. All of which comes together to make my blushing Negroni sour. And yeah, one more apology to Negroni lovers, but this has only got a passing resemblance to a Negroni. But it's a weird mix, it's like elements of uh, gin sour, and also elements of the martini with the gin and the aromatized wines. So it's in this middle ground of all those things. Using a Negroni as a hook to hang it on is as good as anything, because honestly, taste-wise, this has come together really well. Most of all, this reminds me taste-wise of a gin sour, like a gimlet. I love a gimlet, so I'm not complaining. But bear in mind, that's what you're getting if you make this. It's quite a ways removed from a traditional Negroni, but I'm okay with that. And honestly, I think if you try it, you'll be okay with it too, because it's pretty tasty. So maybe give it a go, but whatever you do, I hope you take care of yourself, and I do hope to see you again soon. Until I do, I will say cheers.